Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how you can add the C DLC to your Armour 3 uh, Nitrado server, you know, things like Prairie Fire, um, Global Mobilization, stuff like that, um, including the new Spearhead 1944, and also how you add normal mods to your server as well. Now, if you found this video but you're struggling with actually getting your Nitrado server set up, I will put a link to my basic how to install and configure your Armour 3 community server in the description below this video so you can check that out first get your get your server running and then kind of come back to this particular video so armor 3 creator dlc there's global mobilization sog profile iron curtain western sahara and now spearhead 1944 and who knows when you watch this video there might even be another one which would be absolutely amazing so you'll want to go to your nitrado um, dashboard go to the web interface of the server that you want to add the DC DLC or the mods to and we want to go to the general settings first and to add the actual um, C DLC it is incredibly easy all you need to add is at the beginning of the additional mods line the code for the C DLC and I'll put a link to this article in the description below this video as well. And these are the codes. So GM, Global Mobilization, VN, Profire, CSLA for CSLA, WS for Western Sahara, and SPE for Spearhead 1944, which is really cool, isn't it? And so you can see with my server at the moment, I've got um, Prairie Fire loading up. Now, you can have more than one CDLC, so you could have Prairie Fire and Western Sahara or something like that and that way you'd have access to all those different missions when you loaded into the server and also the different things that come with those particular um, mods as well um, because you want, might want different voices and, and different vehicles and things like that. Always remember though I think the less you load into your armor server and your game of armor the better it will run. Now at the time of recording this video the 4th of August 2023 I'm not sure whether Nitrado have added the Spearhead 1944 pack to their servers yet they probably have but they might not have so if you put in um, SPE and it doesn't work you'll have to upload the SP the Spearhead files manually um, and the way that you do that is you want to have access to a FTP program like FileZilla. If you're modding, you probably know about this anyway. And then what you want to do is log on to your uh, Nitrado server, go to the root directory of Armour 3, and then on your, on your computer, you want to find where uh, your Armour 3 is. So on my computer, it's, in, it's installed on E, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Armour 3. And then you go to Armour 3, and then you just scroll down uh, sorry open up armor 3 close up workshop scroll down and you'll see a folder called SPE there and you upload that to your armor 3 directory and SPE is spearhead that's the DLC also within the uh, DLC there are the keys there so you want to take that key and you'll want to load it into the key directory of your server now this is a big upload. I think it's something like 19 gigabytes. That's really why you've got to do it over FTP. And if you've got a slow internet connection like I have, that can take quite a long time. So once that's done and it's finished, restart your server and you should find it works fine and you have access to Spearhead 1944 when you log into the server and you can choose the mission you want to play. So that's kind of the big mods, the DLCs. What about normal mods? Now, they are actually, we're talking about things like automatic view distance here, CBA, Web Knights 2 primary weapons, this sort of stuff. They're actually fairly easy to install. Um, all you need to make sure you've done is if we go to, so find out where Armour 3 is on your computer. Again, in my case, it's the Steam Library, Steam Apps, common. Go to Armour 3, and then what you're looking for is the workshop folder. If you can't see, it could be because it's hidden. So go into your Armour 3 um, folder settings and set it so that you so you can see hidden files. And there's Workshop is in here. And this is all the mods you have. So you know when you subscribe to a mod in Steam, um, say, for example, Web Knights 2 Primary Weapons, and you subscribe to it, and it's got a dependency, CBA A3, 
so you, subscribe to, so you subscribe to that as well when you subscribe to it and you fire up the launcher that's where all these download to so they're all here so what we need to do is get these up onto our server and this again is where our FTP program comes in so we go back to armor 3 this time we go inside the workshop we find the mod that we want to upload in this case automatic view distance we make sure we're in the root directory of the armor 3 um, uh, of root directory of armor 3 on our um, server right click upload that will then upload to the server and then we go into the keys folder there go into the keys folder of our um, server and just upload the particular key from there to there and that mod will be ready to go just be careful as i say say with something like automatic view um something like web knights 2 primary weapons it does have a dependency so you do have cba3 so you do need to um, upload those as well also different mods will have different configurations as well um, so it's very important whenever you're installing a mod on your server have a good look to see if there's any specific instructions on the steam page and often they'll have a link to a discord or a github repository or something like that where you can look at um, what you should be doing to make that mod work also it's always a good idea to have a look in the comments or the discussions see what sort of problems or issues people are having or solutions to problems and you can always leave a comment here and if the um, the mod is fairly accurate active so the person the publisher sorry of the mod the dev is fairly active they may even give you an answer to your particular problem um, once you've uploaded your mods all you need to do is restart your server and you should be good to go and that's how easy it is anyway what i will be doing is um when there's some specific mods that maybe are a little bit tricky to install i'll do different videos about those but hopefully this one has been useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon